A new program launched by ASU's College of Health Solutions looks to support military and first responder communities by linking research with real-world solutions. Rachel Larson, a professor at the College of Health Solutions, joins us now to tell us more. Good to have you here. Thank you. You bet. Um, military and Veterans Resilience and Health Collaborative. What are we talking about here? Yes, so um, within the College of Health Solutions, we started the Military and Veteran Resilience and Health Collaborative, um, also known as Maverick, so we can shorten it down. Um, but we have multiple initiatives uh, to serve the health of our military connected community. Um, one of our initiatives is to increase eligibility of America's youth to serve. Um, another initiative we have is to optimize health and human performance of those currently serving. Um, another initiative is to uh, serve those experiencing invisible wounds, and then to ease transition by improving social determinants of health. So we're trying to improve health across the lifespan of a veteran. And doing it, again, by way of research, mm -hmm. but making sure that the research transfers over to real solutions. Yes, absolutely. Um, and so we are collecting data on some of our programs that we're currently offering. Um, one program, namely, that we have recently launched is our home-based home base, uh, warrior health and fitness program. And so that program is free to service members, veterans, and their families. Um, it was developed by uh, the Boston Red Sox and also Mass General Hospital. Um, it's uh, the veterans, family members, service members can come in for a 90-day cohort. Um, where they'll get individualized training sessions, um, consultations with registered dietitians, uh, and other wellness programming. I was gonna say, it sounds like exercise, science, mm -hmm. nutrition, hydration, sleep, mental health, all of these things are focused, true? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's some small educational pieces on, as you mentioned, sleep hygiene um, and other wellness practices. And you're working with Luke Air Force Base, Am I, uh, true? Yeah, we are working with Luke Air Force Base on our Fit to Serve initiative. So we're actually developing a course uh, with Luke Air Force Base. Um, some of their fitness center staff are helping out with um, some of the curriculum development. And that course uh, should be launched this fall. Um, and it's called the Fit to Serve course. And that is the bottom line here, which mm -hmm. seems to be improving the fitness of young people. Is, is, how big a concern is that right now? Um, it's uh, actually, they're calling it a national security threat. Wow. So um, saying about you know 75% of America's youth are ineligible to serve. Um, the aspect that we're trying to improve there is the, the health and fitness. So um, you know health re related concerns, obesity, lack of physical activity are leading to poor you know fitness scores. Um, and so if we can do anything to combat that, um, then we're definitely on board. Like the old presidential seals when we were kids, when I was a kid at least, you got a little presidential seal if you did a certain amount of push-ups right. and that kind of business. <laughs> yes, know, I, I participated that in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if they do, and there's also lack of you know physical education in schools now too, so. Mental health mm -hmm. factor here as well? Yes, mental health, um, that's one of the, you know, overall outcomes that we're focusing on with the Warrior Health and Fitness Program also. So it's a community health program and we're trying to improve mental health through uh, fitness. So, and, and you're partnering with the Arizona National Guard and possibly maybe Defense Department? How, how does that working out? Yeah, so with our Optimizing Health and Human Performance Initiative, um, we're partnering with the National Guard uh, to help them facilitate their health holistic fitness program. Um, we also have I wouldn't say partnered, but we're funded by the Department of Defense um, and currently work with five different military installations um, on cross-cutting prevention and improving overall warfighter readiness. And, and are, you see, are you seeing results yet? What, what are you seeing? What, how's it working out? Yeah, no, it's, I, um, I would say one thing that we have identified with um, some of the military programming is there's often silosization. And so bringing everything kind of under one roof, and I can speak specifically to the, the Army um, that we're partnered with, um, to the Health and Holistic Fitness Program, right? Everybody's now starting to work together um, and sharing services and sharing responsibility as well. And so we're seeing um, improvements and changes in the culture, and so all positive things. Very good. Rachel Larson, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.